Mastercraft built their first boat in Tennessee in 1968. That boat changed water skiing forever, and the company never stopped its innovative ways. This 1993 Barefoot 200 with Yamaha outboard power has a strong, loyal following both on the water, on the slaloms, and also on the sail forms, where its value has remained consistent. The water ski slalom pioneers remember how tricky it was to ski behind the big wake of the early ski boats, and when Mastercraft introduced their first boat in 1968, they changed everything. Their hull design dramatically reduced the wake, allowing skiers to cut harder and faster without dealing with the massive waves. Since that first boat launch, Mastercraft has been setting and resetting the standards for competitive skiers. This 1993 Mastercraft is a true competition ski boat that is desirable, both for what it offers as a tow package, but also offers in value. The hull on this boat is classic Mastercraft. It jumps the boat and skiers up to speed quickly and effortlessly. The 200 Yamaha Pro-V delivers the correct power to get the skier on the water and maintain the consistent speed and torque to compensate for any maneuver that takes place on the other end of the rope. For the skier or barefooter, this boat is an absolute dream to tow behind. The motor stays consistent, the boat tracks straight, and the lake stays calm even after a few passes. For the folks in the boat, it is also a great experience. The seating is classic ski boat, great drive for ergonomics and view, and the spotter has the great view and comfort while the boat stays true both side to side and front to back. Impressive. The seats have the storage and organizing desired by the water towing crowd. As was true in 1968, storage is always a consideration. Nobody wants to trip over the ropes or their skis, the tools of the trade, so there's always a spot for them to be stored on this well thought out boat. Most people think of Mastercraft as having that classic inboard driveline. This one, however, is equipped with Yamaha outboard. Now, before you transom pipe lovers start frowning, you need to take a serious look at what this motor offered in 1993 and what it continues to offer in performance today. This is a Yamaha engine, and any search on any forum will prove that these motors run for years and even decades without incident. In our current world of fuel injection systems and sensor plugins, it is remarkable how smooth and consistent this motor is with Wait for it, carburetors. Before you form a preconceived opinion, listen to how smooth this carb motor performs. This is a motor that requires a choke to start and a few seconds to settle down, but then this motor runs like any new motor with efficient fuel and oil consumption. Did I say oil? Yes, it's a two-stroke, and that means oil, but not much. In 1968, two-stroke motors needed a heavy 50 to one mixture, but this 1993 injected model uses a lot less oil. It is very economical and gets a powerful benefit from the two-stroke rotation and firing system. On the water, this boat gets up on plane and up to skiing speed in just a few seconds. This again goes back to 1968 when Mastercraft designers eliminated that long wait as the old boats had to plow, then plane, then accelerate while the skier sat on the dock with 50 feet of rope at their feet. This boat jumps up the skiing speed quickly and with no hesitation. Mastercraft changed the water ski world in 1968 and continues to be an innovator today. A classic boat like this Barefoot 200 stands the test of time. Anyone wanting to get into competitive skiing but do it on a slightly reduced budget, this could be the boat for you.